For a fourth day, Gaza has taken another pounding, with more than 200 Israeli airstrikes so far today. Once again, people here were waking up to find their worlds upturned. Just a few signs of normality remaining. This was the house of a member of Hamas's security forces. It was hit first thing this morning. This neighborhood's called Jabalia, and it's one of the most densely populated areas in the entire world. More than half of Gaza's population are children, and many of those injured here today are youngsters. Sana Kadir lives just next door. Her children's school bags are strewn on the floor. Her three girls and two boys were all injured and taken to hospital. She tells us they were innocent civilians and asks what did they ever do to hurt Israelis. Elsewhere in Gaza, Israel targeted the headquarters of the Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haniya. The building had been evacuated. Hamas's leaders are in hiding. In Israel, people continue to be on the receiving end of Hamas rockets. But today, the number being fired has dramatically dropped. Israel needs to decide what winning means and how far its operation will go. With this operation, until we'll bring some peace and quiet and normality to three million Israelis which are currently under immediate rocket danger. Israel has been moving its forces towards the border. If for the rockets to stop, it requires the removal rather than a weakening of Hamas, then a full ground operation will be needed. But if Israel gets rid of Hamas, then what comes next? John Donison, BBC News, Gaza.